Yes, G. you mean. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So this thing that I was talking about, I'm going to re-emphasize and urge the parents that what now the girls they can improve on is to come closer and closer to our culture. And I'll tell you why. There, there was a student who once came to me and told me, Tai, I know why Halloween is celebrated. So I said, very good. Why is it celebrated? So she told me that the they believe that the souls of the dead are returning and then to ward off the spirits, they dress up in costumes and let bonfires. So very nice, you know it. So I asked her, do you know when Nag Panchami is celebrated? So she said that, yes, the Nag drinks milk that day. I said, okay. So we need to start from the basics. The reason why I am telling it repeatedly is because I see that is what is missing in our girls now. The more and more they are going to get, you know, uh, with the whole cosmopolitan uh, atmosphere around us, automatically these girls are going to get, because we don't live those cultures. That is why it is important that all these festivals, why we celebrate it, how we celebrate it, and what is the philosophy behind them. Otherwise, it, you know, it, it won't take time before they just brush it off that, pata nahi kyun karte. it is coming to that. And that is what the girls are lacking in. That is why we are, I'm going to make it mandatory that each and every festival is celebrated. So again, I'm emphasizing on that, that as parents, all you have to do is share this information with the girls, which will be shared on WhatsApp. Maybe if we can have a presentation about it also, let us try to do that. But to start with, at least let us give them this information. Okay. So, uh, moving on to the next performer now. Pragati, are you ready? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, over to you. Pragati will introduce her own Raj. Thank you, Tai. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be performing Alaripu. Alaripu means to blossom. It is traditionally the first dance piece that Bharatanatyam dancers learn. It is an appealing piece that uh, symbolizes the offering of respects to God, the dancer's guru, and of course the audience. The type of Alaripu I'm going to be performing today is the Chachlushta Alaripu. I hope you enjoy.
We all have been together for so long, like one family for so many years now. The girls know me so well. I know the girls so well now that I'm sure that while watching each other's performances, now they must be saying it in to themselves or maybe aloud also that at this point I must be getting angry. <laughs> I know. I'm sure, girls, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> okay. So moving on to. Today's next performer, Aditi, from the Vakat Band branch. Aditi, where are you? Yes, there you are. Okay. Aditi will be performing. Uh, Aditi will be performing uh, an Abhinay Rachana, 
Uh, she's from the fifth year and she's from the Parker branch. Over to you, Arvind. Hello, everyone. Today I will be performing the Abhinay Rachana, Sangati Khotitya Gaurani. This Rachana is written by the famous Marathi poet Gadi Marvurkar and is expressed in the Vatsalya Bhav, the love between the mother and the child, and in this case, Krishna and Yashoda. This Abhinay is based on Krishna trying to lie his way out of. Um, out of stealing the makhan from a gopi. And when the gopi goes to complain to Yashoda, she, Krishna tries his best to get lie his way out of it. Sangati khote tya gaurani. That gopi is lying. Don't listen to her. Ai ga meena tori le loni. Ai, it was not I who stole the makhan. Malana tori shabda thauka. I don't even know what tori means. I, how could you listen to all of these bad things coming from the gopi's mouth about me? The makhan or the loni isn't get anywhere where I can reach it. How am I supposed to say that? Now, let's see how Krishna gets himself out of this mess. Sangati Khotetya Gaurani. Shabda Khan, 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 Shabda
So we have come to the end of today's series. We will meet again next Sunday at 11.